This is just my first impressions of the MacBook Pro 13 inch non touch bar. This does not have the touch bar. Uh, if you're into the market for a new laptop and you're deciding between Apple or maybe Lenovo or PC, uh, I would really consider these two kind of laptops to go with. One of the things right away when I no notice this laptop is the beautiful design. Obviously, the aluminum feeling of a laptop makes it feel very, very premium compared to plastic. Uh, the only thing I can see that I'm not really too crazy about are the ports, but, it, but again, you can go with an adapter if you're concerned about how do I connect different devices or ports or availability. I would recommend just going directly to the Apple and go with the USB-C to DV, uh, digital AV. And if you can see here, it gives you the HDMI, USB standard, and the USB-C is mainly to connect to your charging so you can keep it charging at, uh, at the same time. And although my X280, Lenovo X280, love the laptop, it's my daily driver, uh, it already has ports. I still would recommend maybe to get one uh, that has a different port, like maybe get the USB-C to VGA um, because some businesses may not have HDMI as a, a, as a port to connect to their projector or to a monitor. If you get the USB-C adapter, definitely invest into an HDMI cable uh, because most monitors either have that and you can connect to it, and that's what I do. Here, I can bring it home, connect to it that way, and that's not a problem. But uh, right away, you see the thinness of it, uh, really nice and lightweight. Might be a little lighter than my uh, Lenovo X280. Not sure about the specs. But one thing that if you're into the Apple ecosystem, this is a very, very nice setup here. Nice and portable. Uh, looks like the speakers come out right through here. Apple really does great about providing great sound when it comes to the speakers. Uh, the X280 is not that bad. Uh, but if you're into that, I would definitely maybe go towards uh, the Mac. Another advantage that the Mac has over, let's say, the X280 or T480S is the size of the trackpad. If you're one that likes to do that and needs the real estate, that is nice as well, too. Uh, one of the things that I like about the Mac laptop is that there's less travel to press the keys. You don't feel like you have to press a lot for that. So if you're one that wants to feel like that response is good, I would definitely go with this route. I personally like my uh, Lenovo X280. It's really great. It provides a nice, good response. And I believe the T480S, I don't know if the X280 does, but one advantage that I keep on forgetting to mention on the videos is that T480S has a water-resistant keyboard. So if you spill something by accident, if you're drinking coffee and goes right through that, uh, you can just blow it out and, I, and it still would work. I had a client that had that happen to her and it still worked with no issues. Obviously, if you get liquid to the sides with your ports, then you're done there and corrosion will build up. But nevertheless, if you check out the website of Lenovo, I think some of their business laptops provide that. Uh, another great thing that is nice about the Mac is the large of keys, the, the chiclet kind of style keys here that does provide some nice size compared to the Lenovo. But overall, I'm gonna say the display is really great. You're gonna get a better resolution display, the larger trackpad, larger keys, makes it feel a little bit more wider than the standard. Uh, it is an ultra portable laptop, so this would be great if you are uh, on a plane and you need to put that table down in the fr from the front seat. That, that would definitely play an advantage. Um, the only thing I think that I can say is a disadvantage would be the ports. I wish they had at least one more port uh, like the old MacBook Airs where they used to have at least two ports here and one on the right hand side. Um, it just makes sense to do that, especially if you're going to be traveling with this a lot. Now, who is this for? Who is this laptop for? Uh, the word pro is marketed from Apple as a professional the things that are great about the newer macbook pros 13 inches they have not this one specifically you can go with a quad core processor so if maybe you have your mac and you have a windows uh, vm and you need to run specific applications so you have two operating systems running or you need higher end processing i would go towards a macbook pro i would highly recommend you invest on 16 gigabytes of storage or try to get as much as possible. I think the standard should be 16 and not eight gigabytes, but this is something that works really 
great. This is an i5 processor. If you're in a business, I wouldn't get more than that. Don't spend the money on an i7 unless you are just all about power and processing. And even then, you probably won't see all the benefits if you're just doing Word documents and browsing the web. For an IT professional, I think this is just, just as good. Personally, it's a little on the higher price side. If we take a look at this this angle you can see the nice display that works on it all the nice icons another advantage to go for this if you're a, a business person even if you want to get um, you know Adobe Creative Cloud and you want to use the Photoshop for maybe creating some nice photos for your website or you need to go with Illustrator and design and kind of combine those all together to create some nice flyers the Mac would definitely provide of great advantage now this configuration has a 256 gigabyte storage and I believe it yep it has the uh, 16 gigabytes of RAM that would be what I would recommend I would not get less than 256 um, if you're concerned with storage honestly think about like your cloud options and your backup because this is gonna be a time where you're gonna probably get close to filling up the storage on this but nevertheless I would go with something like this here uh, and compare it to the Lenovo X280 uh, highly because it's around the same size. If you want to take a look comparison about that, let's show this one here real quick. Um, you can see right away the size, the height. I think actually the MacBook is just a little here uh, taller, but thickness, you can tell that you're definitely getting a, a more of a thickness from the, the the X280 here, the ThinkPad X280. But think about this. Look at how 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 thin this is because all they have are USB-C ports here. You have HDMI, USB standard, another USB-C, and this is just for charging here. One thing that I did find out today that I did confirm is that you have expandable storage right inside here. You can pop it in. There's a SIM tray inside here or a, a mini. SD card you can plug it in there and those are pretty inexpensive if you need more storage again one of the comparisons that I always tell people is if you want to see the comparison to it how thin the Lenovo is compared to the MacBook Pro 13 inch if you open up your display that's pretty even I mean that's that's pretty thin but think about the ports you're gonna have more ports available here which are great for business you don't have to worry about adapters you just plug it in if you have an HD USB instead of getting your adapter and what happens if you forget it then you're kind of stuck to getting stuck to things like this but you can see how thin it is and how thick the Lenovo is compared to that uh, weight yeah actually I think this yeah the, the Mac seems a little lighter for that but again I think given the thickness of it that's that's probably the reason why if you're gonna go and, and you're in a business you say I'm, I'm on a budget I will not recommend the Mac if you're just using uh, applications like Excel Outlook and email I would not go this route it, although this does present some kind of professionalism in an office setting I would highly recommend to go to the Lenovo X280 because you're going to save a big portion of money on that. I think the difference, I think this was like a $2,000, almost $1,800, something like that. And you can probably get something and save like $500 just by going that route. And, and one thing is the price that Apple charges for more storage and memory is really, really expensive. Uh, I think I have a 512 on here and I didn't even get close to pricing what this would for Mac. But that's the world that we live in. Apple provides a lot of great software, a lot of support. Um, they obviously have those features just as much as Lenovo. But if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you're not, give thumbs down. Don't forget to subscribe and visit my website at infotechyeti.com. I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Peace.